Commission. Right. So on Monday, June 10th, we announced uh, LTFS Enterprise Edition, which is an integration of the LTFS file system with the general parallel file system, or GPFS. GPFS is a distributed cluster uh, file system. Uh, highly scalable. We proved it in the most demanding high-performance computing environments on the planet as we developed it. Uh, so people who have extremely large data sets, say starting in half a petabyte and up, or, or at least several hundred terabytes, can now um, automatically and transparently in a hierarchical storage management fashion, move um, data that's aged or of specific extension types or uh, whatever they want to do to tape. By moving it to tape, they can acquire a lower cost of ownership for that data. Often this is archive data that is going to be kept not only in large capacities but over several years. So if you think about the measure, the relevant measure in archiving, it's terabyte years. You're making a commitment to keep it for a long time and a lot of it. And so that can pile up in terms of your, um, not only the, the initial acquisition costs of disk or other media, but the power consumption that requires, the space it requires, floor space, um, and so forth. What moving that onto tape lets you do is first you get to a lower cost of media, you get to a lower energy cost to keep it all. Um, you can get to a, a more dense uh, storage environment so your floor space consumption goes down and, and other similar um, uh, benefits. Now, the great thing about LTFS Enterprise Edition working in concert with GPFS is for the first time you don't have to know whether an individual file is on disk or tape. You just know that it's at the appropriate place for um, its access pattern. So uh, GPFS and working in concert with LTFSE makes the decision based on where clauses you write against the POSIX data, you know, metadata about each file and uh, identifies files and then automatically moves them to tape. As it does so, it can, it can provide multiple copies. It can make multiple copies, ensure they're on separate tape cartridges or placed in separate tape libraries. And because um, uh, GPFS can be geographically distributed, the nodes in its cluster, uh, they can, you can take data that is in one city, a data center in one city, and put it on tape in a tape library in another city. So you get some elements of disaster recovery. The data can also be, um, uh, you can take it off the tape cartridge or take it from the GPFS portion that's on disk and make another storage pool of um, on a, a different LTFS tape cartridge and use that tape cartridge to send a copy of the data to a cooperating institution in your value chain. So people that might use this are um, universities that are cooperating on research or in media and entertainment, um, those that are sharing content to be distributed um, for whatever reason.